So yeah, so Paul wants to start off with a 10 tick stop loss and then at 20 ticks of profit, turn that stop loss into a 10 tick trailing stop loss. So then he might want to increase the stop loss to trail 15 ticks. So yeah, so what happens there, Paul, is if you're going from a 10 tick trailing you know, and so as 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 your trade increases in profit, and then you want to go from a tighter ten tick trailing to a, a wider fifteen tick trailing. So what happens is basically your stop loss just stops moving for a little bit while the market moves away to create that wider distance, right? So the so market has to move an extra five ticks away from your stop loss to go from a 10 tick trailing to a 15 tick trailing, right? The market just has to, has to move. So your stop loss just kind of stays in place for a little while until the market makes that wider uh, distance. Okay. So it's, it's actually stop loss is a 10 tick trailing until it reaches 20 ticks of profit, and then you want to switch to a 15 tick. Okay. All right. So let's create an entry order. And now let's go into the stop losses here. So we'll start off by using the 10 tick stop loss there, the fixed one. All right. So on the options tab, right, this just starts off at a, as a simple 10 tick trailing. And uh, so now let's go to the actions tab and let's set the trailing to uh, custom here and we'll start making some custom trailing rules. All right, so we want our stop loss to just start out as a, a 10 tick trailing here. So there's no trigger, right? Because we want the stop loss to start trailing 10 ticks immediately. So the action is going to be, all right, you take the last price and subtract 10 ticks. There we have it. And then the repeat is we're going to repeat this indefinitely, but since this is a, uh, a tick by tick trailing, we're going to repeat every, uh, we're going to use ticks of movement in a profitable direction, right? There we have it. So every time the market moves one tick, right, in a profitable direction, then the action is going to move that stop loss, right? Tra trail that stop loss up tick by tick. So. All right, so the evaluate is going to need to be set to action furthest from price. So we will have to switch the evaluate here. So now I can create the next trailing rule, which is uh, to trail 15 ticks at 20 ticks of profit. There we go. All right, so the trigger here is we could either use the profit or loss or the delay mechanism. Um, personally, I think the delay mechanism is a little easier to set up there. Right, there we go. There we have it. So once the market has moved, right, 20 ticks in a profitable direction, then that uh, then this trigger becomes activated, right? And then the action is we're going to take the last price and we're going to trail 15 ticks behind the last price. And this repeat also needs to be set to indefinitely and 
set it to you know one tick of movement in a profitable direction so let's yeah let's see if we can actually get this to work or well let's see if the market will work with us <laughs> so um Oh, let's see if I can predict where the market's going to move here. Um, all right, market's going to start moving down. So let's let's go short and see what happens. No. No. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, we're almost at, I saw it almost hit 20 ticks of profit. There we go. Okay, so it definitely hit 20 ticks of profit. And it's kind of hard to see, but that stop loss did widen a little bit. Um, you know, the market did move, is moving so quickly. Maybe I should, yeah, switch over. Yeah, let me uh, switch over to a slower moving instrument here. Now let's turn that straight, turn Blackbird off. And let's see. Um, yeah, generally speaking, I think the RTY is usually a little slower, quite a bit slower. All right, now we got the RTY loaded. Let's turn Blackbird back on. Oh, and I don't know where the RTY is gonna go. That's eh, probably, yeah, today's probably a down day for the whole market. So let's go short again and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. That that moves a lot slower. All right, we almost hit 20 ticks, almost there. So there you go, 20 ticks a profit. I think we just hit it. So the stop loss is just going to sit there for a little bit until the market moves down to about here, about five ticks away, down to where my cursor's at. And let's just see if the market's going to move down for us or if it's just going to hit that stop loss. There we go. There. All right. So yeah, actually the 25 ticks of profit was a little bit higher up up to there. So we can see that, you know, as the market came down a little bit, right, there was that five tick little um, gap there where the stop loss wasn't moving anymore until you know, that 15 tick distance could be reached. So. All right, so let's pull up the trailing rules again here, right? So the evaluate, we did set the evaluate to furthest from price, right? Because Blackbird has two trailing rules to choose from. So once the 15 tick trailing, once it gets activated by right the 20 ticks of profit, then this action, uh, right, then Blackbird has two actions to choose from, right, either the 10 tick trailing or the 15 tick trailing. And so we want Blackbird to choose the 15 tick trailing, which is going to be further away from the market, right, than the 10 tick trailing. So that's why we want the action to be furthest from price. Let's see here. Yeah, so Paul is asking, so we could even add another trailing rule for a 20 tick trailing at 50 ticks of profit. Yes, yep, yep. You can keep adding to this as, you know, as much as you want there. So there we go. So we could trail by 20 ticks now at 50 ticks of profit. There, let's get that in there. 
Yep. So we can go in here, grab our delay, and set that to 50 ticks, right, of movement in a profitable direction. And then set our action to, there we go, negative 20. Right, so from the last price, we want 20 ticks away. And of course, set the repeat up the same. Yeah, so there we have it. So once the uh, trade hits 50 ticks of profit, now this other action here will kick in and it's gonna take the last price minus 20 ticks and and set the stop loss or have the stop loss you know follow behind there so again there's going to be a little a, a five tick delay there so once the once the market hits that 50 ticks of profit then the stop loss is going to stop moving until the market hits 55 ticks of profit and then it'll start trailing that stop loss uh, 20 ticks behind the market there yeah so there you go Paul that's how you'd set that up